the first lecture on nervous tissue, neurons and neuroglia. Main questions of the lecture. Nervous tissue consists of nervous and glial cells. There are a lot of nerve cells, but much more glial cells in the human body. You see the tremendous network of neurons connected by their fibers and much more small glial cells between. Glial cells occupy the whole space between nerve cells and no intercellular matrix available. This is a picture of one nerve cell following silver impregnation and in fluorescent microscope. This is a neuronal network visible under scanning electron microscopy. This is a neuron body and numerous processes. Neurons consist of cell body it call pericarion. Caron from Greece mean nucleus. So this is a region around nucleus or cell body. And processes including one axon and several dendrites. Derived from Greece word dendron tree because these processes has many branches like a tree. In dendrites the nerve impulse travel towards the neuron body. Dendrites accept information, nerve impulses from environment, from other nerve cells and convey them to the cell body for analysis. And axon conveys the impulses away from the cell body to terminals. Neurons vary in shape. There are up to 80 types of neurons on their shape. There are pear-shaped piriform neurons, these dendrites. Pyramidal neurons, you see axon and dendrites. Stellate and spide-like neurons. Another morphological classification of neuron is classification by the amount of the processes. If one process, one pole, it's unipolar neuron. Pseudo-unipolar neuron, it means that it look like unipolar because two processes initially located closely together and only later then going in different directions. Bipolar neuron contain two processes. Multipolar neuron contain many processes, more than two. Multipolar neurons, the most numerous neurons of the human body. In all neurons there is only one axon and one or more dendrites. If only one process, it's axon.
if two one axon another one dendrite dendrite axon unipolar neurons not available in adult body only in embryogenesis functional classification of neurons by their function and location in reflex arch there are three types sensory receptor neuron the dendrites start this receptor they receive stimuli from environment and conduct them to the central nervous system for processing and analysis effector motor or secretory neuron the axon ends in muscle straight skeletal muscle its motor neuron on glands secretory neuron the third type interneuron or intermediate neuron located between receptor and effector neurons interneurons the most numerous type of neuron of the human body in the human body nerve impulses are conveyed from one neuron to another or to the working organ indirectly through the chemical messenger mediator or transmitter on the chemical nature of the mediator used the neurons are classified as cholinergic if mediator acetylcholine aminergic if mediator biogenic amines like serotonin noradrenaline dopamine histamine gabaergic if mediator gamma oxybutyric acid peptidergic if mediated peptides purinergic if mediators purine nucleotides like adenosine neuron structure every neuron consists of cell body perichoron and processes In the center of cell body there is a nucleus usually big and light contain eochromatin and in the nucleus there is big nucleolus in cytoplasm there are numerous organelles all type of general meaning organelles especially rough endoplasmic reticulum golgi complex a lot of mitochondria cytoskeleton there are also some inclusions sometimes melanin containing granules or lipofuscin granulas or lipid droplets nasal bodies or chromatophilic substance a visible under light microscope following the staining of uh, basic dyes like toluidine blue if these cells stain for RNA for example by pyronin these clumps grains of chromatophilic substance stain intensively in red it suggests the presence of RNA in cytoplasm in these granules probably ribosomes and every clamp of chromatophilic substance under electron 
is clump of condensed rough endoplasmic reticulum. You see canals, cisterns covered by ribosomes, numerous ribosomes. So neurons produce a lot of protein for export. For export on the processes to the nerve ending terminals. A well pronounced cytoskeleton in neurons which consists of neurofilaments and microtubules or neurotubules under fixation and following impregnations they stain as neurofibrils in dark brown in cytoplasm of cell body they go in, in all directions but in processes of neurons they go in, in parallel and they're all really important for transport of substances and organelles along the processes. There are two types of transport in processes in axons. There is anterograde axon transport from the neuron body to the periphery to terminals. By this way transported organelles like mitochondria, lysosomes and vesicles and some substances like enzymes for biosynthesis of neurotransmitters in nerve terminal. There is quick and slow anterograde transport in neurons. There is also retrograde axon transport in opposite direction from periphery to the cell body transported defected organelles for autophagy by lysosomes transport of empty vesicles and membranes transport of information about periphery but sometimes toxins and viruses can also be transported from periphery to the central nervous system and affect its neurons. Neuroglia or glial cells supporting cells. They provide favorable conditions for neurons. They can be divided for two groups. Macroglia consist of large glial cells, astrocytes, oligodendrocytes or epidemocytes and microglia or glial macrophages small cells astrocytes may be fibrose with thin long processes and protoplasmic with short thick branching processes they provide barrier and supporting functions. Barrier function means that uh, processes of astrocytes cover the neurons' bodies because they produce electricity and astrocytes isolate them from environment. At the same time and their processes cover the blood vessels where 
blood circulate because the blood, the fluid, they convey electricity quite well. At the same time, astrocyte participate in blood barrier, barrier formation. This barrier prevent entrance of some substances, toxins or active substances from the periphery to the brain. Supporting function means that long processes of astrocytes support the nerve cells in, in the space, provide them the specific localization and organization of their processes. Oligodendrocytes contain few short processes. They may be of two types, satellite oligodendrocytes or capsular cells surround neurons body, especially large neurons. They separate them and provide the optimal environment. They feed in them and so on. Lemocytes or Schwann cells located at the periphery. They form in the chest for neuron processes. Ependymal cells are limiting the ventricles and canals of brain and spinal cord, where cerebrospinal fluid or liquid circulate. In this picture you see brain ventricles and canals staying in blue, where liquid circulates, about 150 milliliters in human brain. And in lateral ventricles located is the choroid plexus. It's covered by special ependymal cells which produce liquor from blood, plasma. Ependymal cells looks like Columnar epithelium, this cilia on the opical portions. This cilia can move and help to move liquor inside canals. And the basal part contains the long processes. They go through the brain and support nerve cells. But really it's not epithelium. It contains no basal membrane. Microglia, small glial cells with short branching processes. Uh, usually they're not active, but they activated after brain injury that nerve and glial cells died and it necessary to remove eliminate debris microglia became much bigger and round in shape and convert to macrophages which phagocyte the died nerve and glial cells Development of nerve tissue and embryogenesis take place from neuroectoderm, which convert to nerve tube and nerve grooves. This is a source for nerve tissue development. Nerve tube initially consists of three layers around the primary canal 
ventriculaire where matrix cells proliferate intensively and daughter cells move to the second mantle layer uh, where they convert to two types of cells neuroblasts which will differentiate to neurons and glioblasts which will differentiate to glial cells and you see then axon start to grow it grow and reach other neurons or target organs and then other processes appeared and glioblast converted to all type of glial cells for exception of microglia 